I am out here in the Dynamics 365 environment here, and we're kicking everything off in the project management and accounting module. So I'm going to walk through the setup of some projects that we can use to talk through revenue recognition in the project management and accounting module. Fixed price projects, a couple things first I'll go through with regards to the fixed price. There is some setup on the fixed price side of the house that we'll take a look at, and one of them is a cost template. So cost templates in D365, they basically will define how your costs are accumulated and used during your revenue recognition process. And it will really depend on your completion based on setting over here. So I have a number of different ones set up out here in the environment. We're going to run through each one of these guys. Essentially what we have the option to do here is with fixed price projects and the use of a cost template, you have the ability to recognize your percent complete revenue based on a percentage of the amount, so your budget to actual percentage based on the amount of costs that have been posted. You have the option also to take a look at your budgeted versus your actual quantity, so the percentage of your actual quantity used against budget. So these could be the number of hours that you budgeted for versus the number of hours that have been recorded to the project, so that percentage can be used. A newer version of the cost template out here that you can set up is a straight line cost template, which is basically exactly what it just says. It will straight line the revenue recognition over the course of your project. And when we go through that example, I'll show you what has to be set up in order for this to work correctly. And then you'll have the last option with regards to your cost template is work breakdown percentage completion. So within D365 and projects, you have the ability to set up a work breakdown structure on your project where you can go and set up all the tasks that need to be completed on the project with the durations that you want them completed in. You're putting an estimate of the effort onto those tasks to basically build up what your estimate looks like. And then the system, based on the percentage completion that you're working against in the work breakdown structure, it will pull that percentage into your revenue recognition calculation and use that to recognize your revenue. So I will walk through all of these guys. So I'm going to come out here and I'm going to create a new project. It's going to be fixed price. So let's do percent complete amount first. Go through the set up my project here. Okay, I just want to make sure. So when we set up our project, I selected that project group. Let me run through that real quick before we move on. Project groups control everything with regards to revenue recognition. All right, let's head back out to my setup project groups. Okay, here we are. So we've got a couple of fixed price project groups out here all relating to how the fixed price revenue can be recognized. So this is the one that I chose for the fixed price for the completion percentage, and you'll see Essentially, what is important with regards to revenue recognition are going to be how are you going to handle your costs, where they're going to post initially, and then the estimate area here, which is basically driving what type of revenue recognition are we doing. And what we're doing is picking that cost template and associating it to a project group. So each one of these, you'll see, obviously, that my straight line will, will be associated to my straight line template, work breakdown structure. The WBS project group is associated to my WBS cost template, so on and so forth. Essentially, what you are selecting out here is going to be your cost template on how the transactions will get included into your estimates and the period in which that you're going to be estimating. So typically, you'll see this period code being a monthly period code if you're recognizing revenue on a monthly basis. A couple of the other items that you'll see out here, when you're setting up your revenue recognition, you have the ability here when you say completed contract and your matching principle of being sales value, you'll choose a category. So this is a fee category where the revenue transactions are going to be posted to. 
that matching principle, you also have the ability to select production and profit. Essentially what that does is it allows you to fill out a couple more areas where a fee category will be required and it will split the revenue based on the cost of the transactions that are contributing to your revenue. It can post to one account via this production and then anything in addition will post to the profit account there. So there's just some ways to split the postings on how the revenue recognition will actually post to your ledger. All my examples are going to be using the sales value category to get the revenue postings through. So again, just on the project groups, they control all the postings and how revenue is going to be recognized. So on my fixed price project, I'm first going to put a forecast out there. So when you're doing percent complete, it's going to want to obviously calculate your percent complete based on your actuals versus your budget, and your budget's going to go one way to enter your budget into the system is through an hour's forecast. I'll just put number of hours out here. So I've got 35,000. The second thing you'll need, obviously, with regards to revenue recognition is what is the contract value of your project? D365 looks for your on-account transactions to determine what your revenue on the project is going to be. So I'm just going to put 50000 out there in my on-account transactions. So, so this is the amount of revenue for this fixed price project is going to be 50000 and then the percent complete will calculate based on that. So I have a forecast on my project. I have a revenue budget on my project. I will then turn it in process here and then record some hours against it and see how far we get. Okay, so I've posted my hours. When you take a look at your hours, your posted transactions for the hours, So in the project group, I had the group set up so that my costs are going to the balance sheet first. So you can see the whip labor for those 10 hours that I had recorded. It's getting recorded to the balance sheet first and not directly to the P&L. And for fixed price projects, the process is kicked off through this estimate functionality in the system. So each month you'd come out here and you'd create yourself a new estimate. I am going to choose August because that's where I posted my time and I need to choose the forecast model where my actual forecast is stored. And I'm going to get the cost to complete method. For everything that's going to come from my cost template. The completion method here, automatic versus manual, it's really just saying, do you want the system to calculate your percent complete or do you want to actually input your percent complete afterwards? All in all, you can just manually at the end of the day, record the percent complete that you want on your project. But I'll keep it as automatic for now so the system can show us what we're looking at here. I'm going to use that total forecast model that I had created. So it came in at 1.88% complete after I calculated it. So it picked up that $50,000 for my contract value, calculated 1.88% complete, and it's going to accrue that much revenue on my project. So let's take a look at the cost estimate here. So based on the cost of $375 and my total budget of $20,000 in cost, that's where it's coming up with that 1.88% complete. So when you take a look at the cost estimate where it brings in the transactions that it's going to look to calculate, it's saying, all right, we've recorded $375 in cost against a total budget of 20, and that's how we're getting on our 1.88% and then you can go post that estimate and record. Actually, let me do that. Let me post this estimate. And then let's take a look at the ledger transaction here. So first thing you'll notice is that you'll get two transactions out here. When you post your estimate, it's moved. Because I had recorded, when I posted my original hours transactions, the costs were posted to the balance sheet. The estimate process then brings those costs from the balance sheet to the P&L. 
So that whip labor is released and I'm recording the actual cost to my project. And then it's accruing revenue based on the percent complete. So 937.50. And then that whip will get cleared as I invoice the on account transactions for my project. So as you run your revenue recognition, you're going to be accruing your revenue there and then invoicing the on account transactions will be releasing your whip invoiced on account and then recording your actual AR and revenue, probably using that same GL account. 